Ladies and gentlemen, we have some breaking news. Whoa. It is official. The College Football Playoff Committee and ESPN have officially signed an extension for exclusive media rights for ESPN and Disney properties to be until 2031, 2032, wow. the entire thing. Whoa. Congrats to Jimmy Pataro. Congrats to Burke Magnus. Congrats to Bob Iger. Because when it moves to 12 games, when it moves to 14 games, what? we thought maybe, you know, there's a lot of networks mm -hmm. that cover yeah. college football. And what Jimmy Pataro, Bob Iger, and Burke Magnus said is, ESPN is the home of college football because we love college football. We don't care if there's other networks broadcasting other conferences and they were able to make better deals with other conferences because we think that only makes college football better and we love the sport of college football. ESPN willing to invest, I think, yeah. billions, oh, yeah. Yeah. billions yeah. of dollars into this. We are obviously incredibly lucky to be a part of ESPN during this time. And I think although college football is transitioning rapidly in front of our eyes and they're going to have to put guardrails on NIL and figure out the best things for the student human athletes going forward and for the good of the game going forward, know that ESPN is committed to making sure that if the teams make the final 12 or the final 14, that it will be done with professionalism, class, and an excitement about a sport that hopefully we can prove no other network has. This is awesome. Yeah. This is amazing. And that is literally official as of like two minutes ago. So we are pumped up about this. Congrats to both sides getting the deal done. Yeah. Yeah. That, is awesome. that, is gi that is ginormous, not only for ESPN and the college football playoff, because, I mean, just having... Listen, it's the NFL, the NFL is king. Like you look at the hundred most hundred most shows watched this year. NFL is king. Second is is college football and the college football playoff by far. I think it was twenty eight million. I think for the Rose Bowl, which is was one of the semifinals this year, and twenty five for the other one. Like that's basically like ESPN buying what eight, nine, ten, however many games. Like wild card divisional weekend ratings, basically compared to the NFL. Like yep. that is that is ginormous. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. And there was a two years left on the current deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's an extension for the next six or however many, I think, do the math, four, six, ah, till 2031. Exactly. 2032 yeah. season. Bottom line. Right. So there's two years left, and then they bought uh, the exclusive on the extension. So this is an extension of a deal as opposed to a brand new mm -hmm. deal. But we got a brand new landscape coming up in a matter of a year and then in a couple years. And ESPN and Disney said we won't be whatever. Yeah. We won't be a part mm -hmm. of all of it. We'd like to help however this needs to come together because the future of college football needs to be brighter than it's ever been even though there are some worries from some folks. College football, it's wonderful pageantry mm -hmm. and tradition will remain a staple at ESPN. I'm very pumped up about this. Yes, that's massive. Especially like what Tony was saying too. Like you, you Obviously, Fox, CBS, NBC, like all of them would would have been jockeying to get into this position. Like they all wanted these games too. Amazon, Amazon, Apple. Apple yeah. yeah, you're talking about companies that are worth trillions. Yeah, and trillions trying to get into yeah. sports. Absolutely, Netflix even. Yeah, Netflix. I mean, and then who? I mean, whatever Google. else that we don't even know that might have a massive backing. So for like ESPN to keep all these games, like yeah, this is this is absolutely massive. It's awesome, and it's probably going to get better. Like these home games of the first round oh. next year, like those. That's yeah. something we've never seen in the college football playoffs. So it's not even as if like, hey, we know what we're getting. Like, we're gonna get even more electric atmospheres. Like, can you imagine what that Rose Bowl scene would have been like in overtime if it was at Michigan? Like, how electric that would have been. Or at Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. Or at Alabama. Now, exactly. I understand Michigan higher seed. I'm not saying that they weren't, but like, imagine that thing. Imagine LSU hosting a. Yeah. I mean, they talk about what it's like down there at night in oh, yeah. Baton Rouge. Yep. Yeah. Texas. Two oh, West Virginia hosting yeah. a yeah. college Iowa. football playoff well. game. Two years ago, it was Bama Tennessee would would have been the seven ten matchup or whatever. Could you imagine? Like the the Big Ten is going to have Big Ten battles in oh, the yeah. college football playoff. Let's go. This is awesome. Yeah. Congrats to all parties getting the deal done. Yeah. Unreal. Good work. Good work. Good work. Great work. Yeah, yeah, great work. Very grateful for the work that was <laughs> yes. done there. Yes. yes. That had been in chatter, obviously, behind the scenes. I think there were some conversations that maybe got leaked that were out there, but nothing official until today. So Massive. Man, I'm that's a game Yeah, changer. that's huge. Seriously. Like, that is going to be – I mean, so it just popped up. Day. Think about game day these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pick of the litter. Well, like you said, too, it's, a, it's not three games anymore. No. 
Like this is uh, this is just. I a feel like we are celebrating games. from such a personal standpoint because this yeah. has made our lives just th this officially happened for sure has made our lives infinitely more happy. Yeah, yeah. Like infinitely more electric. Us being allowed to be a part of any of this mm -hmm. is so dumb. We are very much understanding we should not be in most places that we are. Acknowledge that. We acknowledge. Yeah. We acknowledge. We, acknowledge. we, we do. Yeah. Hand up. One's up. Mm -hmm. We acknowledge we're not supposed to be there. But thank you, Jimmy, for, and Burke and Bob, for continuing mm -hmm. the opportunity for us and many other people that work at ESPN who, like Kirk Herbstreit is obsessed with college football. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like absolutely obsessed Lives with college dies. football. Lives and dies. Absolutely. Yeah. Coach Lee Corso, are you, I mean. Same thing. Reese Davis. Obsessed. Dead. Desmond Howard. Mm -hmm. Obsessed. You start going through Marty and McGee. Yeah. Oh, you start God. going Pete. through. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pete Thamel. Everyone we were with. Al Thamel with college basketball. Yeah. Greg McElroy. Mm -hmm. Cole Cube. Stanford Steve. Like the crew that we get a chance to mm -hmm. see work and on ESPN cover college football all year. Joey Galloway. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, there's just Fowler. so many. Yeah. Fowler. Fowler's going to have a great take on this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean. There's going to be 14 different angles from it. Yep. Yeah. You too, T. It is going to. Well, he loves you too. I know. We saying. knew he was going to love you. He loved the sound system there too. Yeah, we More knew so. Fowler was going to love you too. Although you we too. will disagree Dennis. with Fowler on that you too show. He was, was he at the same show we were at? No. If you were not at the same show we were at, we do not want to hear it. Nope. Bingo. Because it, it, we, you probably had a different set list. You know why? Because Ty was willing to take a stand for the first time maybe in the history of you two existing mm -hmm. and saying, hey, we're not like diehard fans of yours. We're here for the sphere. We like your music, like your... Yeah, your hits. Your hits. But like we're not, we're kind of an indifferent party here. And this sweet, you're charging 60,000 bucks for people. Mm -hmm. We didn't know a single song. Not, not one. one. We thought it was a waste of the sphere. Yeah. Then I guess a couple of nights later they oh yeah tore the house yeah down. played the greatest hits album yeah and Chris Fowler says for you dumbasses that didn't think you two brought the heat the other day just directly Le he was talking directly to you yep. and directly to me <laughs> yeah, and that's fine and directly to our show and that's why we love Fowler yes mm -hmm. and we love he's going to continue to get to call these games all the production and crew behind the scenes of these college football some of them have been working on college ball for 30, 35 years like hey they have nothing but love and passion the sport runs through their veins like this is actually how they feel about it. So there's a lot of people with a lot of pride for college football that are going to be in charge of the coverage of college football going into the next chapter of college football. And from our point of view, with getting dropped into the middle of it, which we should not have been, mm -hmm. very much understand that, getting to learn the love for this sport from the people that have been in it for so long is a part of why you love college football. For sure. The passion is a reason for why you love college football, and it will remain mm -hmm. a sport that is celebrated for that with ESPN. I know that's the case. And what a, I mean, that's it for the day, I think. That's huge yeah, news. that is massive. massive news. Like, that's the biggest news tomorrow. That changed our life year. right there. Yeah. yeah. And like Tony said, like, three games is now 13. Like, that is a game changer once it goes to 14 teams. Yeah, and then people are going to bitch about not getting in. That's okay. Yeah, that's There's going to be a full on. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. that's the purpose. That's college ball. Yeah. That's right. I mean, that's college football. That's how it's going to go. Let's wait, too, because, you know, people might bitch if, if you know, in this situation, if Florida State goes out and beats Liberty 68 to nothing, then maybe we do have a different opportunity. But yes, on the other side, if Liberty goes out and beats a Florida State five seed, that is, that's just lightning though. That, that's what Not you that want. they would. Not that they would. If We I saw if. six Florida State guys run sub 4-2 or whatever <laughs> yep. at Combine that did not play in their bowl game where they lost by 60 to Correct. Georgia. Correct. So Everyone played for Georgia. Even though it was the same bowl game. Including Lad McConkey. Who just ran a 4-3. Mm -hmm. Yep. So a little bit different, but Florida State guys, I understand. Think yep. about the futures. Bringing all the info to the team. Mm -hmm. Just we, I, everybody in Alabama, even number one overall pick, played. The year before. Mm -hmm. Yep, played, played played in the bowl game, and then mm -hmm. number three pick, played in the bowl played game. The bowl game. But again, just, neither, just neither here nor there. Bringing information to the table. That's all we're doing. That's it. Love that Florida State team. Yeah, they're going to bounce back big time. But man. it would in that first year if there's a massive upset. Then for the rest of the time. It's that 14th spot yep. is anything can happen. Yeah. Yeah. Anything can happen. Yep. Yeah. Anything can happen. And it's it's good for the playoff, but it is also now generated the 15th team being actually shoot pissed. <laughs> right. Not getting in yep. for the rest of the